Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Well this time I will explain the safety belt warning sensor circuit on the car But beforehand I will first give an explanation of the background What components are used in the circuit and simulation of this sensor circuit Alright, let's see my presentation The first background civil warning sensor in the car With the means of transportation Humans are able to travel from one place to another more quickly and save energy one example is a car In Indonesia Cars are a popular means of transportation. Then in driving, it currently has its own rules, both for drivers, passengers, and other road users. Well, we often encounter violations that are often committed by car drivers is not using a silk belt. Even though it is very important for safety when driving. Even in our own country, regulations have been made mandatory to use seat belts when driving a car. Because of the lack of self awareness by car drivers, the importance of using a seat belt often results in suffer injuries during an accident. Therefore, on this occasion, I will explain a series that is useful to give a warning to the driver or passengers when not using a seat belt, so this can reduce injury or minimize accident. The second Safety belt warning sensor component in cars. Number one, get in. The old logic will produce one if all inputs are one. The output logic will produce zero if one input has a value of zero. Number two, I see. 74LS08 IC or integrated circuit is a semiconductor component in which there are tens, hundreds, or thousands, even more basic electronic components consisting of a number of resistor components, transistor, diode, and other semiconductor components. Basic gets already packed in an IC or integrated circuit for N get use IC TP7408. Number 3. Get not. Also call it inverting. Generate output that is opposite to the input. Number 4, IC74LS04. IC is an active component consisting of resistors, transistors, and adhars that are used as the brain of electronic equipment. By using ICTP7404, different from the previous get or N and or the not get has only one input and one output. Number five, get or the output logic will be one if one input logic is one. The output logic will be zero if all input logic is zero. Number six, I see 4071 CD4071 is a dual input or get with a quad pack means having for or IC gets in it 
each of which can be used independently to make an or get IC. 4071 can be used. Number 7. Logic state. In this case, the logic state function is the input of the logic gate. Logic state there also functions as a detector of the use of seat belts and the detection of whether someone is sitting in a chair. If the seat belt is used, the detector will give a value of 1 and if the seat belt is not used, the detector will give a value of 0. Number 8. LED or light emitting diode. Components that can emit monochromatic light when applied for what voltage. This family of diode is made of semiconductor material. Let's are the sum as diode that have positive and negative poles which will light up when the forward voltage is passed from the anode to the cathode. Number 9. Buzzer is a component that serves to convert electrical vibrations into sound vibrations. This device is made of PC ceramics elements which are placed on a diaphragm which converts vibration to sound waves. Buzzer uses resonance to amplify sound intensity. The third, the result of simulation safety belt warning sensor. Before I get into the simulation, I will explain the core of this sensor work on the seat belt is that if the car is running, then the driver or passenger one of the does not use a seat belt, so the alarm will sound to give a warning. Now, on this occasion, I will explain some circumstances that make the alarm sound if the driver or passenger does not use a seat belt. Number one, we can see in the circuit that the car is running but the driver does not use a seat belt. Number 2. We can see in the series the car is running, but the driver does not use a seat belt if on top the passenger belt it uses it. Number 3. We can be seen in the stories the car is running, but there are driver and passengers not wearing seatbelts. Number 4. We can see in the series that is the car is running, but the driver does not use a seat belt if on top the passenger is using a seat belt. Under number 5, we can see in the circuit that the car is running, the driver uses a seat belt, but passengers do not use a seat belt.
well that's a set of conditions that make the alarm sound then the last are some circumstances where the alarm does not sound let's see number one we can see in the circuit that the car is running drivers and passengers use seat belts we can see that the alarm does not sound number two we can see in the circuit that the car is running the driver uses a seat belt but there are no passengers we can see that the alarm does not sound And then number three, we can see in the circuit that the car stop or stops. The driver and passengers use seat belts. And then we can see that the alarm does not sound. Well, that's my explanation about the warning sensor on the seat belt. Hopefully, what I have said can be useful and pay attention to safety, especially for car drivers and passengers to still obey to the rules of using a seat belt because it is very important for safety in driving. Well, that's all from me and don't forget to like comment, and subscribe. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. See you again.